So before we get into today's video, I want to give a huge shout out to K-Bros. Like, that dude, Ron, been, like, rolling with me since day one, since he had, like, 150 subscribers or something like that. I think even before that, like, even when he, like, just started making videos, like, you know, we linked up and, like, we just been cool. Like, we both from Jamaica and stuff like that. So we've been cool, man. He, uh, he been doing shirts. And he promised me a shirt for the longest, and I'd never gotten it. Like, this dude took, like, six years to sit. No, I'm just playing. He took, <clears throat> it took a little bit, but I got my shirts. I purchased stickers from him. And these shirts are bomb. Like, these uh, K-Bro shirts. I'm going to go ahead. Are you going to see me rocking this in the video somewhere? But his little design logo is dope. You probably really can't see it right there. But shout out to Ron, man. Make sure y'all go over to his channel. Link is in the bio. Go over there and hit him up. But with that being said, let's get into today's video. Yo, what's happening? Welcome back to the channel. Today, I got something special for y'all. I got a new reveal, new project coming to the channel. If you guys remember this car and where this car started, then you guys know exactly what I plan to do with this next build. And it's something special. It's a car that like I always wanted. And, you know, I'm pretty sure like my son's excited about it. Everybody, everybody's excited about it. Even my friend that came and helped me unloaded it, he's excited about it. So everybody really wants to see um, where this build is going to go. And I'm excited to see where this build is going to go. And I got a big, like, big plans for this build. Now, if you guys been around Washington in a while, you might know this car. Um, I purchased it from David, Boss David, owner of Boss Innovations. He took a break from it, and the car's just been sitting. So he gave me a sweet deal on this car. Like it's a very sweet deal. Like I can't, I can't complain at all. The hardest part is just putting some stuff back together. He knew what he was doing, so this stuff would have been easy for him, you know, to put back together. But for me, on the other hand, now I gotta go have somebody hook me up and doing all of this. But yeah, it's pretty rough. But if you know me, man, I could do it. Once again, shout out to David. It might not look like much right now, but hear me out. If y'all don't know what this build is or what this car is right away, you should be able to tell by the taillight. This is a 1994 Toyota Supra. I'm going to go over everything that is that needs to be fixed on this car. like Just like the minimal stuff for me to like feel comfortable or like start putting stuff back in it. Obviously, all the sound detonating been taken out. I won't be putting that back in there. All right, so this car is going to be, or this car is a hard top. Well, not yet. Uh, it was a T-top. He took off all the um, the T-top parts in the spots where all the OEM Toyota cuts would be. And they got all the, um, as you can see, it got like the little the metal on the there to put the hard top back on. So... This is one thing I need to get done. I know this car is, is going to be a big project. The next thing is getting this uh, transmission tunnel back in the car. It was taken out due to the fact that it was going to be a LS1 with the T56 transmission. And that's why he took the center part out. Um, this was not going to be a street car at all. It was going to be a drift car. So he took that out for the simple fact of making it a drift car. Me on the other hand, I'm on a street car, so I gotta get that welded back in place. The body kit got a little bit of fitment issues, but that's nothing major. That's like easy fix. Obviously, when you get it painted, you won't be using this hardware. He was just using this hardware for fitment. I'd have to get all the glass put back in, source carpet, and, uh, you know, seats. I do have a dash that is actually in really good condition for uh, Super Dash. It's in pretty good condition. You just need little pieces. Like, I'm going to need, like, the part that goes over here. That part is broken a little bit. But, you know, you can source. You can rebuild it and source stuff for the dash. And I'm going to need the part, all this cluster stuff. Now, this car did come with a lot of parts, and I still have to go pick up these parts. I just couldn't haul everything whenever I was freaking um, pulling the Supra, because I had the Supra, 
I had the uh, the dash over there. I had the trans tunnel. I had the steering column. I had the uh, headlights. Another headlight over there. Also had the heater core. I had the LS1 that was going to go in the uh, the Supra. I have the T56 transmission that was going to go in the Supra. Now, I don't plan on putting this LS1 or that transmission in the Supra. Personally, I'm going to do something different. I really want to go 2J, but we'll see how it goes. Um, my friend told me to cage the car while it's like this before I get the top and the, you know, before I get the top put back on. But I truly don't know if I really want to cage the car at all. I don't know. I'm just, I want a street car. I like street cars. That's why the MR2 was built as a street car. This is a project from the ground up. Like there is Everything needs to be reassembled. Obviously, you got to get suspension. I'm going to have to find wheels. I got a Mitsubishi wheel right here that's flat. I think this is a Supra wheel up here. But that holds a little bit of air. That ain't flat. On the back side over there, we got a Steely. And I think a Steely up front. But yeah, this is just a short video of an introduction of what I got going on now on the channel if you guys follow this bill, you know that when I picked that car up, that car was beat. Like some people probably wouldn't took that car for free if they got it whenever like I first got it. This build is also going to be special. I have plans for it. Um, I'm going to make a video going through exactly what I plan to do with this car. And you know, the look I'm going for on this car. I already got one that's like similar. Got a picture of it. I'll show you guys probably in the next video. Actually, really excited of the things I could do to this car. It's uh, it's been. Uh, I know people are gonna knock it. I know it's a. You might think, oh, this is bad purchase. Why'd you buy it? This and that, but it's not. Trust me, it's not. They have most of the body parts are here, and I still got more parts to pick up. Once I start buying parts for it and putting it together, it's going to look nice. But on that note, man, I appreciate you guys for stopping by. Please like, share, and subscribe. If you want to follow this build, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button. If you've been following this build or you're new to the channel and don't know about this build, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and go back and re-watch all the videos on this build right here because it came from the ground up. Like, we literally, like... We drink this shit right here. Like, we started from the bottom, and, like, now we're here. Like, you know, started from the bottom, now we... Like, y'all don't know. But, all right, man, like, share, subscribe, come back, check out the channel. Peace.